So, Town Work Table Logs, Episode 2. Today I'm going to check out these uh, two pieces. Then I'll finish uh, this one and continue with this one. So, what's happening here is a little bit different. Um, I have this, uh, this dangly bit and uh, I needed to come up with a neck piece or a, the neck string part for it and what I'm doing here is again coming up with a little bit of rhythm of my own again a limited set of colors uh, but they're they're not strictly the same that uh, that they're represented in uh, Independent itself. Uh, this one's a bug, by the way, covered in Cupid Simone's nail polish and uh, the uh, wrapping uh, work, if you can call it that, even uh, was a little bit messy. So that's also covered in Cupid Simone's nail polish because glitter. Uh, but yeah, there is a certain uh, rhythm or, or pattern going on in here except in the middle because I, I need uh, this part to be well, big enough beads to, to hold the pendant uh, in place and now I'm going to work the other half of the neck cord and, uh, and then and the loop on the other end and uh, this one down as well And we're at the point of uh, needing a little coil again because I need to make this one quote unquote neat. I'm also making the coil much finer than the other one and much more even. Now, because I want this piece to be neat, I already uh, slanted it a little bit in the folds. Oops. of camera with the other pliers. Okay, now if I could make this one not twist, yes. Or not. Okay, I'll leave it be. Unfortunate. I, I hope the pendant will be heavy enough to keep it in shape anyway. Here's a better look at the finished piece because 
last night the light was already too low for a good look. So this one here uh, is one of those long long chains built on a very simple principle so it's, uh, it's fishing line by the way so it's uh, round and, and sticky beads on uh, on fishing line and uh, just a moment I will be right back No, what was I? Oh yes, uh, the piece that I'm working on in here is going to be same of same lineage or same principle as, uh, as these three here Let's them in. So what we have here is a uh, series of round beads plus on a string over and over and over again and I'm basically what I'm doing is establishing a simple rhythm of uh, different sizes and uh, and occasionally jump a different color and uh, and uh, uh, and, uh, sizes and sizes colors. It's not symmetric, but uh, it has its own um, own rhythm, I would say. I would like to think. Oh, and uh, the red, black, uh, yellow piece was the first of this, uh, well, lineage. And I think it started because it just happened to have an abundance of these. Uh, brown beads and uh, I wanted to put them somewhere so I experimented and now we're here same with this one and this one uh, there, is, uh, there is a somewhat narrow selection of colors uh, or a, a limited palette and, uh, and then there is this Stepping onward, going on. oh, and uh, and because it's, uh, it's a rather long piece of string, I have, I have uh, arranged them so that they can be opened with a clamp and the worn either uh, on, uh, on and or uh, neck and so on.
one, this one has grain, but I'm in no hurry, so I think I'm going to give this one a few more days, maybe even take a little pause in it, we will see.